Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Toya Salam. We'll get started with this big one. Another casualty coming from Nigerian Professional Football League. This time around, he's actually having a nice run. But then, after nine games, OK, Amogbe has stepped down as the coach of Abia Warriors. Nine games, three wins, two draws, four losses and 11 points. Mm. He says he just can't help with it poor run of results. Mm. Cecilia, this one is a very, it's a bit uh, refreshing now uh, because not all the time uh, do you see a coach resigning because of poor uh, results. Most times they get fired. But now uh, you can argue that uh, okay, Modi has sent the writing on the wall and he has, he, he's not waiting to be pushed um, before, you know. He sat down. Exactly. <laughs> that's what has happened here. Okay, that's the honorable thing to do when yeah. you're not having good run of exactly. results. But then you have some other clubs who just don't care. Then from there, we'll move straight to the UEFA Champions League. And this one, we're going to be having the very best of attack in the UEFA Champions League tonight. And it's all about Manchester City and Monaco. Monaco, mm. 76 goals in 26 matches. Pep Guardiola needs to be afraid of this one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's also the matchup between uh, Bayer Leverkusen and Atletico Madrid, but I understand why you've gone for um, City and Monaco. That looks like a potentially um, explosive game. Um, Monaco, probably the most informed team in Europe. And you mentioned... No, probably. They yeah, are. They are the most informed team. Certainly, they're the most prolific with 76 goals in 26 games they in the French League on. <laughs> So, they have their work cut out. I'm talking about the defense of uh, Manchester uh, City. Okay, still on football, uh, but this time in the English FA Cup, Sutton United... Fairytale run is over in the fifth round after losing by two goals to nil uh, to the Arsenal. Uh, the Gunners will face Lincoln, another non-league side in the quarterfinals. Uh, Cecilia, <laughs> mm, after the game, Arsene Wenger, you know, came out to praise um, Sutton. It was a bit uh, surprised by the performance on the night. I, I thought they were decent, uh, but it wasn't good enough, and that's why uh, they've exited uh, the tournament in the fifth round. And um, special shout out to. Uh, Theo Walcott as well, scoring his 100th Arsenal goal in how many games? Okay. 372 games. Uh, you know what, that, uh, the most important <laughs> thing is that he has joined the exclusive no, I mean, 18 players who have been able to score 100 awesome. goals for, for Arsenal. Him. Now let's move straight to Campbell Come now, start with tennis and yeah. of course Arnold Quadri, he is pulled out mm. of the Qatar Open. What's the reason for that, Tyo? I think he had to withdraw from the men's singles event. And it's supposed to be coming up in Qatar, the 2017 ITTF uh, World Tour Open in Qatar. What happened to him? I mean, why is he pulling out? He was scheduled to compete in the qualification tournament, which starts today. And the main event is beginning on Thursday, that's 23rd. And out of the men's singles event, Anna Kodre intends to compete in the men's doubles event. And he's going to be competing alongside Richard Koloskai. Mm. Yeah, the, 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 the main problem, the main issue is the, is the injuries picked up, a back injury. Cecilia, we've been talking about back injuries uh, for yeah. a while on the show now. Uh, Tiger Woods uh, readily comes to mind, but um, the same thing has happened to Aaron Quadri now. The back injury has forced him you know, to withdraw from the men's singles yeah. events, and um, it's a shame. But, he, but can, he, he can be able to, the back injury, he should be able to do the doubles. That's yeah, what hopefully. Explained. But what I would like to say is mm -hmm. he has to listen to the, to the advice of his doctors. If, you know, taking part in the doubles will be a risk, will actually aggravate uh, the problem. Now, he might as well just pull, out, pull out of the doubles totally. also. Yeah. Okay, but the, 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 the quote from season. him, the statement from him says that, he says it's not a serious injury, but a back strain. And this was actually caused by stress. So it's not really really serious so he was cautioned to actually rest because playing in preliminary round will be tough and yeah. also with some of those top players it's going to be it's going to be tough with him before he can get directly into the main draw and he will also be aiming to qualify so it's going to okay. be like more more stress more on strain, him the strain on, his, on the yeah. back so uh, that's why he decided to yeah, just okay yeah it makes a lot of <laughs> sense uh, but um, he said um the, it's not a serious injury but we know how back injuries can go from a zero to 100 real quick uh so he has to be very careful with this particular one uh like i said if you know um as the doubles event approaches and it feels he, he, he might not be able to you know cope then it should just pull out totally it's still it's still a very it's still very early in the itc world tour season so there's still a lot of uh, competitions to go for you don't want to see him aggravate the problem at all okay and yeah, if so he gets to good. have the double 
it will it's going to be with her on my assault from Asa. Egypt. Both yeah. of them will have to do that. But then say, in the I doubles, right? In the well. doubles, right? You've got somebody that has it back. Okay. Okay. Someone has it back. Uh, You're not doing it by yourself, so yeah, the strain uh, will be much. Exactly. You share, you share, you're sharing the burden, so. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So, yeah, good luck sense. to Arnold Quadri. Hopefully, you can uh, return uh, from injury as soon as possible.